Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, Overview 99 here. And today, with uh, the uh, thing I'm going to show you, because I finally installed my Adobe Photoshop Elements 11, I, uh, I made this logo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's just go on YouTube and onto my channel. You can see it's just a cool 3D99 with a black background. And uh, yeah. So now I'm going to show you how to make something similar to this. So what you want to do is open up Adobe Photoshop Elements. Uh, do not participate. That's not annoying at all. I'm just going to the photo editor. Uh, when you're in the photo editor, you uh, make sure you get uh, this up by going Windows and Color Swatches, and that go into all of the tabs, as you can see. So one of the tabs you might want is you go to Window, and you want to go to Layers. Oh, make sure it'll start up in quick. Go to guided, or you want to go to expert because I'm an expert. I'm not, but let's. So, what we want to do first is if you go to the YouTube thingy, so I'll go to YouTube and you go to your channel and you go to channel settings, you can see that the dimensions are 800 by 800 pixels so what we want to do is go to this uh, the drop down menu for open and new blank file name it whatever you want so I'm going to call it test logo and what you want is to make it this will start off in millimeters and you want to just change it to pixels so 800 by 800 pixels change that and when you're done just hit OK and here is your canvas size the first thing we want to do is come down here with the colors just go to default colors where the uh, color swatches are you just want to pick a color so I'm gonna say this color swap over and this color and in gradient just make sure it's selected onto that and this one is selected, uh, the linear. And from the corner, drag to the top. There we go. There is our simple gradient that just vaguely changes here to here. So you can notice it. Now, what we want to do is go to the text about in the middle. It doesn't matter what color it is at the moment because we will be changing it I mean I keep sitting on this this is annoying so with this now you want to drag it roughly into the middle like so and once you've got the text you want you might want to resize it make it a little bit bigger and center it so now we want to do is right click or First of all, oh yeah, hit the green check or hit enter. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And just center it. Now, if we want to hit right click that and simplify layer. Once you do that, you will not be able to edit the text anymore. But you can always go to your history tab and go back to it. Ah, color now what we want to do is go to uh, image transform free transform and that now if we hold control and we go over to these we can bend the text so I'm gonna have it I think like that that, that, that looks good to me so I'm just gonna hit that and now the text is like that what we want to do now is control 
and click here and that will highlight all of this and you want to go to gradient go back to normal colors we want to now select our colors so I'll do this color with swap with this color and yep make sure you select that and when you do it just drag across and there you go and once we do that just press ctrl D to exit off that and that looks really really nice but we want this 3D we don't want this minute if I just go to transform just bend it over a little bit more so there we go this is our text with a nice gradient tool we can make this look shiny if you want by messing around with the colors but I'm not that fast uh, so now what we want to do you want to make this sort of 3D so what you want to do is hit the move tool and what you now want to do is press control alt and the up arrow and keep pressing it until you get to a nice texture and down if you want to no. just control z it and yeah, just keep going as much as you want oh yeah one minute I forgot to do something just history alright let me just yes There we go, now we're just back to our 99. And we can move it around again because I just did something wrong. What you want to do is right click. No, what we want to do is go to, sorry about this, go to Windows, Effects, and go to this one Simple Emboss. And just do that. Now, if we go back to it by hitting F11, go back to Layers and we want to double click the effects and you want to change this down to one pixel have a nice glow if you want out of glow that looks good now when hitting this press the up arrow we will I think we'll get rid of that glow so let me just get rid of the glow now <laughs> if we do it and we get to a texture that we like that looks good to me now we just want to go file save just don't show okay and you save it as a PNG or JPEG. Dot the Photoshops. Uh, these are the two. This is better quality than JPEG, so I'd recommend PNG. Depends what sort of thing you want. But that is the tutorial. You can do this with anything you want. As you can see, it's a bit laggy. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, everyone. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.